Hi, I'm Miss Andrea from Jefferson Parish Library, and this is Two Page Tasters, where we share a book we enjoyed that you might like to read. This is The Storm Runner, which is first in a series. It's based on Mayan mythology, so if you like the Greek mythology in the Percy Jackson books, or the Norse mythology from the Thor movies, this has that feel to it. Zayn Bispo just found out that he's the son of Huracan, the storm god, and he's being hunted by Apuch, the death god, who he calls Apuke. The house was quiet. It took me a few seconds to remember that it was Friday night, and that meant Mom was helping Hondo at the bank. Eight o'clock. They wouldn't be home for another hour or so. I had a million questions for her, starting with, who the heck is my dad? I was hoping he wasn't a demon because that would mean my life was officially over. Miss Cab had told me that supernaturals come in many different forms. Some could be normal looking, even handsome like Hollywood actors or NFL quarterbacks. Question number two, how come you never told me I'm only part human? Just thinking those words made me want to jump out of my own skin. And the third question, were you ever going to tell me? I went to my bedroom and stood in front of my closet, trying to get up the nerve to open the door and retrieve my Mayan book. What if one of those demon illustrations came to life and jumped off the page? Get a hold of yourself, I muttered. It's only a book. After I fished it out of the dirty clothes pile, I sat on the edge of my bed and opened the book slowly. I started reading from the beginning. Some pretty treacherous stuff was described in there, but nothing as bad as Jabalba, the underworld, a.k.a. the place of fear. AKA where Rosie was, my stomach turned. The book confirmed everything Miss Cab had told me, including that Apuch was the jefe of all hell's lords. I took some notes to help me keep them all straight, though I hated to write their creepy names down. Let's see what I can remember. Flying scab and blood gatherer, sick in people's blood, gross. Pus demon and jaundice demon, make people's bodies swell up. Seriously, who named these guys? Bone Staff and Skull Staff turn humans into skeletons. Sweeping Demon and Stabbing Demon stab you to death. Wing and Pack Strap make people die by coughing up blood until they drown in it. Definitely a worse way to die than Hondo's suggestion of being thrown into a vat of acid. If those names weren't nasty enough, the pictures were even worse, and I'm not talking about a bad hair day. I'm talking rotting teeth, bloated guts, bleeding ribs, and bulging eyes. The demon runners were basically these guys hitmen. I kept turning the pages as I read about all the horrors of Jabalba. My insides collapsed slowly. I should have been the one to cross Blood River or Puss River, not Rosie. The house felt empty and awful without her. It was hard to even remember a time she wasn't here, bouncing, wagging her tail, dropping a ball at my feet so we could play fetch. Did I tell you how easy she was to train? Never jumped on the furniture or begged food at the table. And when I was sick, she lay in my bed like she was sick, too. Rosie was the truest friend I ever had, better than any human, and I couldn't protect her. I couldn't run fast enough, kill the demon runner fast enough, do anything fast enough. All because of my stupid leg, which, let's get real, doctors couldn't fix because I was the son of some monster. I took a deep breath as I turned to the page to Apuch, Mayan god of death, disaster, and darkness. According to the book, Mayans were terrified of death, and I didn't blame them if they had to spend an eternity with this guy. His picture took up a whole page. He looked like a bloated zombie with decomposing gray skin with nasty black spots, and he had a dark, twisted smile. That wasn't even the grossest part. He wore this weird helmet that had eyes hanging off it, the eyes of the people he'd recently killed. Around his fat neck was a red cape made of human skin, and stitched to the hood was an owl's head. My eyes froze on that image. It looked exactly like the black, yellow-eyed owl that had whispered to me and shook me up earlier. The prophecy has begun. I slammed the book closed. No way would I ever let him out. I didn't care what the great soothsayer thought she saw or how strong the magic was. It could call to me all it wanted, but I wasn't going to answer. And that's The Storm Runner by J.C. Cervantes. If you like it, you can pick up a copy at any Jefferson Parish library. This book is a Louisiana Young Reader's Choice Award nominee, so it's part of Jefferson Parish Library's Lyric Challenge. Remember that when you read three of the books from the youth list, you'll be eligible to vote for your favorite to win the 2020-2021 Louisiana Young Reader's Choice Award. 
This year, the Jefferson Parish Library is also offering a special Louisiana Youth Reader's Choice Challenge with a $25 Amazon gift card raffle. You can register for the challenge starting October 1st at jplibrary.beanstack.org. You'll get a virtual badge for each book that you log and an automatic entry into our raffle after you've logged three books. We hope you'll check out this nominated title along with others and will join us for the Louisiana Young Reader's Choice Challenge. Thanks for joining us and stay safe. Bye.